spotlight this afternoon. You may have seen Dr. Phil on TV. You might even have heard of his son, musician Jordan McCraw. Well, if you are looking for a new home and you happen to be in Beverly Hills, the musical artist has placed his home on the market. His asking price, a mere $5.75 million. The home is more than 6,100 square feet with five bedrooms and six bathrooms. But the inside has been unusual. It includes a staircase railing made from fake wooden branches, a black and white checkerboard ceiling in the foyer, and the dining room has an art installation that has melted guns and rifles covering much of the wall. Right now, McGraw is on the road touring as the opening act for the Jonas Brothers. America Ferreira is adding to her family in the new year. The actress took to Instagram to announce she's pregnant with baby number two. She posted a photo cradling her belly alongside her husband and 19-month-old son Sebastian. The actress has been on the screen as well as on the TV at home. She currently stars in the NBC comedy Superstore, which is now in its fifth season. The Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival 2020 lineup is announced. Rage Against the Machine will headline on Friday nights, Travis Scott on Saturdays, and Frank Ocean on Sundays during the two-week festival. Others scheduled to appear include Calvin Harris, Louis Capaldi, Flume, and Lana Del Rey. Coachella takes place in Indio, California on April 10th through the 12th and the 17th through the 19th. Pre-sale tickets are first available on Monday at noon Pacific time. In your consumer headlines, an airstrike that killed Iran's major general is shaking up some gas prices and Apple teaming with a former leader with HBO. But what's their plan for TV audiences? It's all in today's Cheddar Report. Hello, everyone. This is your daily tech and business briefing from Cheddar. President Trump authorized an airstrike that killed Iran's major general, Qasem Soleimani, opening a new potentially armed phase and an escalating back and forth between the two countries. Now, the news set oil prices surging, with Brent crude futures rising almost $3 following the strike over supply of disruption fears. Meanwhile, Apple has struck an exclusive deal with former HBO CEO Richard Plepler, all to produce movies, TV series, and documentaries for their streaming service, Apple TV+. Plus. Now, Plepler's New York-based company, Eden Productions, has signed a five-year deal with the tech giant. The streaming service launched this fall, and it costs members just $4.99 a month. And American Airlines is reportedly planning to share part of their compensation that they received from the grounding of those Boeing 737 MAX jets with their employees. The grounding of the jet has cost carriers more than a billion dollars in revenue. So far, details of the compensation that the airline will receive is is still in the negotiation phases. And that's your Cheddar Business and Tech Update. I'm Baker Machado for the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And since it was a short week, you know, they're really fired up because they're all rested for the big Friday. On yeah. SA Live, right? SA Live, downtown San Antonio. Hey, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <sighs> I don't know if we're rested. You yes. know, we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, just take the reins here in the new year. But, you know, sometimes it's a little like uh, like jet lag, right? You know, Sort you're of just... like that, yeah. You just want to, and, and plus, I, just stay in your jammies. That's what we're doing today. Yes. It's a jammy party. Yes, and in honor of that, how about taking that sleepover party for your kids to the next level? Yes, there are plenty of themes to choose from, and everything you need is brought right to your door. Check out what we've got on set right now, and we can't wait to show you more. This is nothing like the slumber parties we used to have as kids around here. Nope. Sherry's putting a blanket over a card table, I'll tell you that. So, <laughs> hey, can't forget about the pets either. And Maricela Guerra from South Paul Waggery is here, and you have got a great little bed for the... For the I do. These wonderful beds are U.S. made, 100% recycled fillable um, liners inside and waterproof. So great for the pets. Okay. Because uh, what you buy out there, what should you look for on the label? Always look for anything that says China made or China foam. Those tend to be toxic and can poison your pet. So very important to keep an eye out for that. All, All right. right. We've got s'mores. We've got cocktails. We've got a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. So stick around. On our website right now, you can find our interview with District 1 City Councilman Roberto Trevino. We spoke to him about what he hopes to accomplish in the new year and his plans to keep renters in their homes. That's on KSAT.com along with our interview with Mayor Ron Nuremberg, who also talked about his New Year's resolutions. 
Ours is to get some rain. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, nothing here in the seven day forecast though. We're at 66 already, so we're closing in on our daytime high. We've really already reached it. Uh, we may gain a degree or two more, but some gusty winds out of the northwest, 20 to 25 miles per hour. We'll be in the 70s this weekend. Sunny skies. Another front comes through Monday night, but it just doesn't do anything for us other than kick up the winds. We'll get some clouds next week, maybe. All right, let's yeah. see if they have now woken up over at SA Live. Oh, yeah. They're in their jammies. They look like they were like really comfortable. We'll find out, right? Now. New year to the next level. Throw a sleepover bash for your kids that's anything but a snooze fest. Choose a theme and everything you need to be a slumber party star is brought right to your door. Amp up your indoors with looks that spark joy. Joy Home Decor has something new for you in the new year. And get ready to sleep like a baby. Score some <laughs> great deals at Star Furniture and Mattresses. We're there live looking for all the cozy feels. Oh, well, the Christmas and holiday season is over. And I think even when you, you know, when you're back in the daily grind, you still kind of have a little bit of, you know, holiday lag, kind of yeah. like jet lag. You it's kind of like when you go on vacation, you right. need a couple of days to recover from vacation. Yes. So that's kind of like what we're doing into today. It. And I didn't think anybody was going to be cozier than us, but Jen looks like she's pretty darn she's cozy pretty over cozy there. She's pretty cozy over there at Star <laughs> Furniture and Mattresses. Yes. All right, so we are staying cozy and comfortable on yep. our SA Live pajama show. Yeah, in the next hour, we are going to show you all different ways to stay comfy and cozy inside. But we have a question because, you know, when you, when you climb into bed, everybody's got their certain little ways and how they want the blankets and pillows well, and everything like particular. that. People are particular. Yeah, are particular. Mm -hmm. So, one big question mm -hmm. is... Mm -hmm. Socks or no socks? I'm no socks. I can't have anything no on my feet. No. Not in bed. Mm -mm. When you get up then... Mm -hmm. Socks. Maybe. Well, yeah. Yeah, but not in bed. No. What do you think? Yes, let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. And maybe you wear your house slippers. Maybe it's something, you know, let us know if there's mm -hmm. something, you know, kind of odd or that would make us all warm or cool when you sleep. I'm just curious. Cool with blankets. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. So when, you, when you've got cozy jammies on, right. mm -hmm, you might think of what? Movie nights. Yes. Ooh. Or breakfast in bed. Ooh. Or I like that one. Calling in sick. <laughs> How about a very fun slumber party? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, we have a sleepover envy in the house to show you how you can make your next slumber party the envy of the neighborhood. Brittany Harry is here, and oh, we are comfy and cozy. I like my own little tent. This is like a little puff look, tent. I know. Yeah. Look at this. Look at what you brought. Now, we're looking at three different themes, and this is just a sampling, right? Yes. Okay. What, what, what's mine, first of all? <laughs> so you are in our lovely glamping themed tent. Okay. So we have our nice, pretty setup with the sparkly pillows, nice, fluffy pink pillows, but we also yeah. have the glamping station for them to enjoy. So, so we, this is all part of it? This is all part of it. And what is this? So we have a little manicure set up for them to do their nails, little facials. Okay. Are you gonna do your nails? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> as long as I'm here and you're sitting there talking, you might as well do them, so. Um, and, not a and, pink, that's not my color. No. Anyway. <laughs> so if there are five kids or 10 kids, do they each get their cute little tent? They little each station? get their tent. So they would get, the, each package comes with five, but if you have more than five, we can add on as needed. And actually this station will be like in a center. So it'll be a six tables with the pillows laid out around them for all of them to enjoy together. Okay, and we're looking at some pictures right now of some other themes for sleepover parties. So you show up, you bring everything, right? Yes, I bring everything. All you have to do is provide the space. My goodness. Okay, so oh, yes, yes. So this is our camping theme. I match it. So it's our nice outdoor <laughs> camping theme set up. And this one has our s'more station. So we have two Ooh. s'more setups. We can do one like this, which will be indoors, but we also have a large fire pit that we can set up for them to enjoy outdoors. So this can be an indoor or outdoor? Yes, it can be indoor or outdoor. 
We've done one, someone did one on their um, outdoor patio. They had a covered patio and they mm -hmm. set up right outside for their and slumber party. And I put party. all these little string lights and everything to kind yeah. of help set the ambiance. And speaking and of ambiance, it's not just for kids, right? Because there, there's the a... far end over there. Yeah, that's something new. Tell us what that yes, is. Yes, so this is one of our newest packages. This is for adults. We have our Valentine's Day date night set up. So it's set up to be like a picnic set up where you can do it at the park and at backyard, or we can do it in your home in front of your fireplace, um, wherever you would like to set it up. So we can do the setup by itself with just a table and little decor. And we also have our chef from Jay Lee's Recipes who would cater if you want to add the food as well. So you can have like a little, little camp out in your own living room? In here. your own living room. So what, nice other, what other themes for the kids are there? So we, do, we have unicorn, we have just the boho, we can do anything you want, really. We can customize for you, or we can just do a color scheme. So you might just want a blue and purple or whatever you want to do. And you're only limited by basically the space in your house. Exactly. So if there's 50 kids, I mean, you can... We can do 50. Wow. wow. So, so they go to your website, they can choose from themes, or they can, they can inquire about a custom theme, Or just right? inquire about a custom theme. Oh. Goodness. What kind of custom themes? Yeah. So one of, uh, we have one that wanted a, uh, a dolphin theme. So she kind of booked that, she had two weeks left and she booked the party and it was a dolphin theme and it was like a hard time trying to find everything. So we just had to custom make everything for that party. We made the blankets with the nice big dolphin, cute little pillows to match. So. We can do pretty much whatever thing you have in mind. Oh my gosh, and you can make it happen. All we right? can. You want to call in advance, you know, and get that reservation in. Because you said about what a month lead time at least. Yes, we we like for it to be four weeks out in advance um, to book just to make sure we can get it as um, lovely as we can for you and make sure we have everything in in time. But if it is a little last minute, we can still work with that as well. All right. By the way, to let you in a little secret, we're not lying on the floor right now. She actually brought air mattresses. Yeah, there are air mattresses on here. In this, in this nice fuzzy pillow. Yes. I'm, I'm kind of like it. Nice this and pillow. comfy. This is, yeah. Yes. You picked the good tent. I think you I did. did. <laughs> for you. All right. Well, thank you so much, Brittany. For more on Sleepover Envy, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, of course, our pajama party extends across the street and over to the northwest side. And you saw how cozy Jen Tobias Trusky was there, nice and snuggly. She's out there at Star Furniture Mat and Mattress at I-10 near De Zavala. All right, Jen, looks like you are just snug as a bug in a rug. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting cozy here at Star Furniture and Mattresses off I-10 and De Zavala. And you can bring the cozy home with you. As you can see, I came in my PJs to shop and that's OK, right? It's the PJ theme, but you can bring it home with you as well. All the coziness. There's a big sale going on and I have store manager Brian Groby here with me to talk all about it. Hello, Brian. Hi, I hope you don't mind me shopping in my PJs. No, that's great. <laughs> but quite the selection here. Let's talk about what you have for customers. Yeah, we have a huge selection of high quality furniture and at prices that'll fit any budget. So we've, and we've, we have such a big store and there's so much to see. We've organized our store in such a way to make it really easy so that the guest doesn't have to spend a ton of time looking for what they want. So we, we know our, our guest time is important and so we try to organize it so that our sofas are in one area, our dining rooms and bedrooms are in one area. And of course, you're standing right now in the middle of our mattress department. I see that and let me tell you, I tested out a lot of these um, and I love how you have the setup. You have different levels here so people can kind of figure out what works for them, but also plenty of people here that are answering questions. So let's talk about the selection that you have of mattresses. Yeah, great. We've, so we've organized our mattress department in such a way that we organized it by comfort. So when someone comes in, we try to find the perfect comfort, comfort level for them. And then all they have to do is move right down the line until they find mm -hmm. the perfect mattress. So we know that sleep is so important. Yes. Getting a good night's sleep is tied to good health or good health is tied to good sleep. And so we, we make it our mission to find the perfect bed to give a great night's sleep to our guests. I love that. And we were testing these out and we'll probably continue to test them out. But let's talk about your interior design team because that's big. Sometimes you just don't know where to begin, how to put things in your home, you have a team here ready to help with that. I do. My entire team is so knowledgeable. They're, they're very experienced. Um, and so they, they, they work really hard to help the guests 
um, make make a, a home out of their house, to take their, their house and turn it into a home. And then I've got two in-house designers that will be happy to go to the customer's home, um, do a complete floor plan, you know, find the perfect rug, mm -hmm. um, the, the perfect tables, whatever it is that they're, the guest is looking for that we can create at home mm -hmm. uh, for them that they'll be happy to spend time in. Well, that's very important because sometimes you just don't know. You don't know what rug to pick. You don't know the contrast. And so those are little things that are big things. Very nice to know. And I love the setup here. I love how you make it easy all the mattresses but the best part about what we're talking about today is there's a sale and it's going on now let's talk about what you have going there on there is there's a huge <laughs> sale going on right now it's the beat the clock sale it ends at 6 p.m on sunday it's 25 percent off of everything all of our all of our furniture and all of our accessories 25 percent off of all of that and and on top of that we're offering two years zero interest financing there you go all right so you still have time thank you so much brian come out here you can also go online star starfurniture.com give them a call 210-558-7800 and again it's located here on i-10 and day zavala northwest side near costco near utsa come to your shopping again you have till 6 p.m on sunday thank you so much i'm i think i'm going to try out some more mattresses i mean i'm in my pjs right i might as well keep testing these things out and uh, i'm going to send it back to you guys. Where's my blanket? You, she's, she's trying to find you Back a to perfect oh, napping sure. spot. I was like, looking for one. Why not? You never, when do you sleep? I don't, I, I don't know. But <laughs> that's a, I never thought about going to a mattress store to take a little nap in the morning, but that's a good idea. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Jen, for that idea. <laughs> All right, next on the show, snuggle time with your pet. Southpaw Waggery has beds, blankets, and sleepwear for your four legged friends to curl up with. For those of you who consider your pets part of the family, Aww. even your fur babies, even your children, this one is for you. Maricela Guerra, owner of Southpaw Waggery, is here to show us the best in dog comfort. And I think somebody is very happy and contented down there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's just living the dream, right? Rags who, to riches, this dog. <laughs> who is our model? This is Wookie, my oh. shop dog. <laughs> I yep. get it. I get yep. it. <laughs> Little shop dog. Believe it or not, a rescue. Stray off the streets. Yep. Aww. And now have a dog shop because of her. <laughs> oh, because okay. of pajama party for your pets, mm -hmm. too. And they need something nice and comfy, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, as you said, right, the pets are our children. We they treat are. them like family. You mm -hmm. know, they're our Netflix buddies, our couch potatoes with us. So um, here's some great, you know, things for a great sleepover with your pet, starting um, with some great beds. Mm -hmm. As mentioned earlier, right, these are just U.S. made. They're 100% recycled, fillable, um, which is super important because you have to be careful with beds that are made in China or have China foam. Those can be very toxic and poisonous for your bed, for your pets. Okay. So these are super great, washable. The liners inside are water resistant to help with accidents. So must have for your house. And they have a little vibe lifestyle. They're pretty swanky. And mm -hmm. you said uh, the liners inside could be, you just spray them off with a cleaner or correct, something like correct. that. Correct, correct. You can have a, a, yeah, a spot cleaner. Absolutely. Okay. And okay. another cool thing with the covers is the covers, if you don't want the insert and your pet like mine has some separation anxiety, you can fill it with some towels or some blankets or your own pillow that has your scent that helps them be a little bit more comfortable. I That's a fantastic. That. Or even just stick it underneath here yep. uh, between the, the cover and that. Oh, and yep. This is good. That's mm -hmm. a, that'll, that'll hold up. Yep. It is. Years. Yeah, that's what she does. Yeah, yep. that's going to hold up. Okay. Yep. That's gonna hold up. okay. So. Traveling. Mm -hmm. Traveling. So if you have a little sleepover with your dog, maybe they're going to be babysitting, or maybe you're going hiking or camping and taking your dog along. We have some great travel beds and sleeping blankets. As you'll see with Wookie, this rolls out to that. Um, it's super comfortable and washable, um, and it's just nice and compact and just great to take on the road with you or wherever you're at. And then also, mm -hmm. they have their own little... Sleeping bag. Yeah, a lot of people actually like to put these in backpacks. They can stuff it with a backpack and put their dog inside, and it kind of keeps them nice and warm and cozy. They spread it all in the back of their Jeep or truck if they're laying out, you know, at the lake. And it's called Rough Wear. Rough yes, Wear. So the Rough the, Life. The packable <laughs> dog blanket. So they have a, they have a portable sleep sleeping bed and a blanket, okay? And then, of course, some travel bags you have to have, right? Especially for the smaller dogs. These are dual use. They're perfect for putting your dog inside the bag or if you're traveling, you can put the blanket in here or the essentials for your dog to take over. Can we uh, demonstrate? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, okay so because here, Wookie here is on the travel bed. Yes, yep, mm -hmm. she's on the travel bed and the great thing is these have a little hook. 
So I hate to bother her right now. I know. She's, like, Please. She's doing so well. So you She's just earning her kibbles and bits. <laughs> so you just put them right in. That's even snuggly. Uh huh. It's a 100% canvas made bag, which means it's washable as well if it gets dirty. And then the little hook hooks onto their collar like this. And then you are all set to go once they sit in. And that's your little travel bag. Oh, and does that come in different size? Well, it, obviously, it, you can't tote around a German Shepherd. <laughs> <No. laughs> It'll go up to about 40 pounds, but we have a large that can fit up to like 30 pounds as preferred. The medium, a small, and even minis for those little teacup dogs oh. of yours. Oh, yeah, wow. and they're great. Now, okay. why is it so important to buy the best for your pets? Other well, than just, you know, they're like our children. Yeah, I mean, like we said, right, They because they're family, and we just want the best care for them, right? Unfortunately, there's a lot of, you know, shady things going on in the pet industry. You know, the, there's low quality and, you know, some cutarounds and how, you know, to make some products. So we th pride ourselves on quality over quantity. You know, we have specially curated, you know, um, product line. We're just, you know, it's, it's about them. We want to keep them safe and keep them away from harmful chemicals products. May I just say that Wookie here is modeling like a boss. She is wonderful. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I was told to model this bag, so I'm going to hold still. Give her yeah. an extra dog treat. And you're located very quickly where? <laughs> I'm located at the Cadillac Lofts right off Lexington, right near the Public Library and Southwest School of Arts. All right. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Thank For more you information guys. on South Paul Waggery, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, coming up next, Energy X Fitness is here to get you back in shape for the new year with some easy moves that you can do at home in your pajamas. to get out of your PJs to get a workout in, and we're about to prove that. <laughs> <laughs> By hook or crook, one of the two, Allison Galvan, owner of Energy X Fitness, has got all the moves that you'll need to kind of cozy up and get in good shape and right as soon as you roll out of bed, basically, right? Absolutely. It's great to go to the gym, it's motivating, but you also, it's also extra steps, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you could just roll out of bed, do a quick 20-minute routine, it gets it in, gets it done. Yeah. So how many days a week should you do a 20-minute routine? Uh, it depends on where you are in your fitness journey, uh, but I always recommend starting with about three days a week, 20 to 30 minutes a day. Uh, if you're more advanced, let's get you to five times a week, at least 30 minutes a day. It also depends on your intensity. But so even if you haven't done anything, just get started. Yeah, right? if you're even just getting started, right? If you're just getting moving. started in the new year, okay. let's start at two, three times a week, 20 minutes. Get okay. it done. Right. The alarm just went off. Well, I'm just off. You can keep these resistance bands right by your bed. Okay. They're nice and uh, easy to find in stores. So you can start by just taking this out. So the closer you bring your hands in, uh, the more resistance you're going to have, right? Okay. So you decide how much you want it. And you can start just by taking it up and over, up and over your head, and then try your best to bring it back and not hit anything or anyone. Sorry. <laughs> and I then back up and over. <laughs> so this is yeah. kind of like a good morning stretch. It's a little bit of shoulder mobility. There's some uh, resistance in this band, so if you need to, kind of pull it apart to get it up and over. Yeah, so just a few okay. of these in the morning, however you get it over. It gets easier the more you do it. Right. Right. So once you feel good with those, let's take it back over and take it in front. And like I said, find the resistance you want. So bring your hands in closer for more, wider for less. And we're going to do pull apart. So I simply want you to pull it apart, bring it about to chest level. Yep and then right back out. So the closer you're gonna bring it to your chest, the more resistance you're gonna find. And think about squeezing the shoulder blades together back behind you. So you're, now you're activating and lighting up those back muscles. Yeah, so that's pretty easy there. Nothing too strenuous, but the more you do, the more sweat you're gonna build. Okay. And you could do the shoes on, shoes off. That's a great part. Or slippers on. Slippers or slippers on. on. Slippers on, slippers, slippers on. off, great. <laughs> so there's a lot more you can do through these resistance bands, but we can ditch them for now. Mm -hmm. So if you just wanna ditch them, we're going to do mostly uh, body weight from here on out. So start with your feet kind of hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider, and I want you to just squat, kind of like you're sitting down into a chair. You can squat down, come right back up. Yeah, think big muscles, those quads, you're lighting up, the glutes are lighting up. And for somebody that's never done a squat before, you don't want to go forward like yeah. that. You right. want to kind of keep your rear end Exactly. Back, just right? kind of like I had said, think about sitting down into a chair. So sit your butt backwards. Your weight's mostly in your heels, but you still have a nice firm foot on the ground. Good, so let's change this up a little bit, and I want your right leg to come back into a lunge. So split the stance and sink your back knee down. Yeah, and then come back up, and then squat again. Good, and now let that other leg go back into a lunge. Same thing, chest is up here. 
Good. You need a little space for those lunges, right? Wall was there. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Just give it one more on each side. So lunge down, bring it back to center to that squat. Last lunge here, other side, because if you're not even, I'm forgetting everything. You start the day that way. And, and by the way, house slippers don't provide a lot of lateral support right. like gym shoes do. So yeah. there's a little more sliding. Oh. And then we can go more to our core. So if you want to come down onto the ground, find a plank position. So plank position is just hands under the shoulders. Your feet are about hip width apart. You can always go from your knees as well. So whatever you feel best here, simply holding this is an exercise, right? You should that feel your is. abs light up. For 10 seconds, it's like, oh, I know. Yes. And then if you want even more, you can tap your shoulder and then tap your other shoulder. Easy. Yeah, so here we're trying yeah. to minimize the rock in your hips by engaging high the five. abs and the glutes a little bit more. Hey, yeah, high five your partner, right? You left me hanging. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on down, relax. Okay. And then you can come all the way over onto your glutes. Roll on back as long as you don't crush anything that's back underneath you. And this is called your glute bridge. So your hands are just relaxed here. And I want you to squeeze and drive your hips up. Yep. And then let those hips come back down. And then you're doing it again. Squeeze and lift. Yep. And right back down. So now we're targeting lots of things here. Your inner thighs, your glutes, your abs, a little bit of quads. Give me one more. And then lay, your, lay back down. Go back to bed. Just kidding. Don't do that. Oh, man. Oh, but the from point, there, you can't good. crawl back in bed when you do right. this. Right. But from there, you can stretch it out a little bit. You can pull your knees into your chest. This is um, so nice. Kind of relax <laughs> before you get your day going. Wake up, wake up. Wait, wait, really? It, 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 I nice can do it from here. Too, like you said, is you can wake up if you want to have a cup, quick cup of coffee, something like yep. that. Before you hop into the shower, you don't have to go to the gym or anything. Right. And you get a nice workout in your yep. jammies. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much from Allison Galvan and Energy X Fitness. For more information on them, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And hubby Danny. Yes, thank you, Danny, for the assist. <laughs> <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live, decadent s'mores and tasty cocktails. After that workout, we need a treat. Woohoo, yeah! And also next, spruce up the ambiance in your home with looks that spark joy. Oh, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous Friday. Is this Friday? Yes. This you are is correct. Friday. Thank you. And it is well because I'm in my pajamas. So well, I know. Right well, here. sometimes we can't remember. I, I know. <laughs> just in general. Well, well, we're back to our pajama party on SA Live, and Dylan, Dylan Dabney, owner of Joy Home Decor, is here to show us how to stay cozy in style and kind of really spruce up that ambiance in your home, right? Yes. Especially in San Antonio, it doesn't necessarily get super cold, but you want to feel really cozy in that holiday vibe and into, you know, January, February. So what we always suggest is a lot of texture and blankets. And I have lovely Grace Jordan over there um, snuggled up in one of our, we have an alpaca blanket, just absolutely oh, what fabulous. What does that feel like? No one died in the process. Oh, yes, a nice shape. No alpacas yes, were no harmed. Alpacas okay. were harmed. Yes. Same with our Mongolian sheet pillow. Wait till you feel that. You were going to go, yeah. Oh, amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, sold. Sold, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, it, okay, if you want just the most snuggly two things in the world, this blanket, that pillow. Mm -hmm. Yes, there super soft. That's, that's, that's all you need. You'd be happy. It'd be very so happy. happy. Okay. Get up and give me this yeah. blanket. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're kidding, we're kidding, we're kidding. Enjoy it. Okay. And of course, when you're snuggled up like that, I really feel like you want to enjoy a, a warm beverage. And so we have this cute little canister set that we keep at our own house. Um, and it has cocoa and or coffee and our mugs. And that way you just snuggle up. The kids can have cocoa. We can have lots of sugar in our coffee. Mm -hmm. And um, just, you know, enjoy conversations. You want to stay a little bit closer together during these times when it's cooler out. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why we just pull in. We maybe play some of the games. We have table topics, which this is wonderful out here at the front. Um, it's a game called Table Topics, and it keeps you from being on your phone all the time. Your family actually yes. asks one another questions, and we, we engage in a way that we don't typically do. And it brings everyone together. Because board games are so much fun, you yes. will laugh and yes. until your stomach and cheeks hurt. Exactly. But it's, it, it, like you said, it's a great bonding thing. Yes, and like a puzzle. My kids, every year when we go to Brackenridge, we take a puzzle with us, and now that's like the thing they look forward to the most, is taking a puzzle and being in, in the fire, you know, near the fire, and just enjoying that. Right. So. Okay. Yeah. And I love these. Are these are these are phenomenal. Now we love you a real those candle. Are, those are real. Yes, you not, they are not you real. think we'd have an open flame in here? <laughs> well, 
Yes. The engineers but... would be honest, like, hey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then they flicker, and you can control them with a remote control. They're wonderful. We have them in different colors and sizes, and they're just great. Don't play with you the flame. See, if you fall asleep, just showing that it wasn't real. You know what happens when you play <laughs> with fire? You sleep when you're cozy. You don't have to worry about burning your house down. So it's great. Exactly. Yes. See? And that tends to happen. It gives us a nice mood. That's a f wow. Right. Yeah. They're beautiful. Oh, yes. And you then would we have never known this happened. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And this, and this looks okay. Oh, so this is you know when relaxing. it's cooler, it is. It's very relaxing. We went with the lavender hand cream for when you feel you know a little chafed and um, during this time of the year. And then this is also an eye mask. If I show you, oh, yeah. no um, you're gonna love this. So when you're stressed oh. out, you just go ahead and take a nice whiff of that, and then maybe take a nap and put it over the eyes. Oh my yeah, goodness! That is. Wait, let me smell. I know. Take a whiff. First, Ooh. The, yeah. Ooh, yes. So it just. You immediately feel just at ease. And give then me, that's a room spray, same idea. Give me the alpaca, oh, please. Yeah, so, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we so need a room spray in here. Yes. Oh. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so these are just some things that you can <laughs> have around the home. It's not expensive. Mm -hmm. You probably have all of these items to some degree, and you can just keep them closer in the living room so you remember to just snuggle up and spend time with your family. Keep going, yes. Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> or, Matt, um, Mike's about to nap. Okay, right. if we had the dog, we'd have the perfect cozy. Right. I, will, I love the dog, too. All right, Dylan Dabney, owner of Joy Home Decor, thank you so much. For more information on them, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank Greatest you. blanket in the world. <laughs> All right, next on the show, we are making s'mores indoors with the good kind. Stick around, SA Live's pajama party continues in just a couple of minutes. Welcome back to our pajama party show. Well, a great way to feel cozy in the winter is to make s'mores by the fire and cozy up with a cocktail. But if you don't have a fireplace, then Chef Tim McDermott with The Good Kind has some great ideas to fix that. Hello, hello. Hi. There's nothing like a good s'more because you got to have I know. The, the marshmallow just Gooey, perfect. Melty, and warm. Maybe a little bit charred, but mm -hmm. you can't do that over a stove, can you? So what, what's your alternative? So, well, when we do it at the restaurant, we have fire pits. Okay. But here, this is um, just a little burner that we bought at Ace Mart. You can also use a brulee torch works. Okay. So you can do these in your own home. Just, so just basically using camping own. items. Exactly, right, yeah. camping items. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a little can of Sterno, and there we go. It's starting to starting to get going here. Yeah. And yeah. Now, while this is going, you've had a couple of good cocktails, So, too. right. We, I'm showcasing two of our boozy cocktails that we do nightly. We are open for dinner and happy hour every night. And uh, so the first one we're going to do is we, so for our hot toddies, uh -huh. I like to use, we have a selection of different herbal teas, so I like to add a little kick with, yeah. this one has some lemongrass and blueberry leaves oh, and cool. all kinds of fun stuff. Like Elder an elevated flower. hot toddy. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay. Look, it worked. Oh my there gosh, you, go. you Whoa. left Mike alone. Well, you got <laughs> I turned this way for 10 <laughs> seconds. What have you done? No, you got it. I hope the smoke alarm doesn't go off in here. It's <laughs> off. Oops. I'm guilty because I'm standing okay. next to you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, right, then you've got to you gotta get that in there right away. Okay, okay, so okay, pop, the melt. Okay. pop that on there. There you go. Okay. Don't mm -hmm. burn your fingers. I think one shot. Yeah, one's fine. Yeah, there, there we go. And let me there do this. Go. And then push and... that properly. Uh, I get the. To... Okay, there okay. we go. Uh, get some ooh. melty. Mm. Look at that. So, yeah, we sell mm -hmm. these s'more kits. Uh, and we have fires going. Ooh. Okay. So in this hot toddy, we have our tea bag, and then a little bit we're going to do a little whiskey. These lemons from our tree. We have an acre garden, and we have some lemon trees. So we've been picking fresh lemons. Lemon. I don't think I've ever had a hot toddy with a s'more before, but that sounds like a really <laughs> good combination. The first time for everything. <laughs> I know. And, you and might I'm get like... that nap in this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that drink. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, it's a little hot, but we have that hot toddy, there and we then we oh. were also going to make an Irish coffee. Okay. Irish so, coffee and s'more, you know. That. So you mentioned the fire pits, on, so on Fridays. Right. Uh -huh. Well, we have them right. actually going most nights. Most nights. Friday okay. in particular, uh -huh. we have fire pits in our garden, we sell the s'more kits, and we have all our boozy hot cocktails. Okay. okay. How, how's can, it? Can you wear your jammies? Yes, your and we are pajama-friendly garden. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Amen. <laughs> you don't even have to change out of this today. No. I say you go everywhere in this today. I got some funny looks through the market. As, I was like, it's my pajamas. As long as my wife doesn't see me, then I'll be fine. So I'll get in trouble. Mm. Okay. And last but not least, so that has what? Whiskey. Irish whiskey mm -hmm. and Bailey's mm -hmm. and coffee. We actually produce, have our own production of organic Oaxacan coffee that we sell by the bag, and we use it for our drink. And where's your place located? In Southtown, uh, 1127 South St. Mary's. Okay. And we have full menu, dinner, lunch, every day. And happy hour. All right. Here we go. Irish touch. coffees. Oh, that. those things are good, too. So. Yes. That cheers. One. Cheers. 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 Happy, happy pajamas. Yes. <laughs> for more information on the good kind, just head to our website, salive.com. And click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, we asked you the $64,000 question. Socks or no socks? And Shannon says, socks when I get into bed, but they come off sometime during the night. It's those little elves that take them off. And we've got a sneak peek. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. one more from nobody. From no that no. threw me off. Okay. No socks. No socks. That's, That's the like law. That's like the law. That's right. the law for nobody. Yes. And here's the last one. Okay, from Jacob. My buddy loves to shop for warm socks. Aww. Hey, coming up, we've got a sneak peek at a new show tomorrow. It's called Texas Eats with none other than that gentleman right there, David Elder. Welcome back, everyone. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Hey, we've got something really exciting to talk about, and it has to do yeah. with food. Yeah, because you know what Texas does and does Texas, well sometimes? Eats. Of course, Elder Eats mm -hmm. has been a big part of this show, and I think David has pretty much hit every right. restaurant in town. So now he's branching out with Texas Eats, and he's got a preview. Texas Eats is my love letter to Texas cuisine. Uh, I grew up in California, so when we moved out here, you can imagine the things that are drastically different, the comfort food that's out here, the Southern cuisine. It's the diverse blend of food that you can find out here that really makes it special. Every city has a story to tell, and that's our goal with this show, is to find out what that story is and really bring it to light using food as a vehicle to tell that story. From farms to restaurants to food trucks to grocery stores, anything you can think about when it comes to food, we are covering that in the show. One of my favorite things that we're gonna be covering is barbecue. That's gonna be a big one. It might even be multi-episode, depending on how much we're gonna get. But Texas barbecue, Texas chili, uh, you know, there's so many different topics, uh, you know, chicken fried steak that you can actually expand and talk about. Because with people uh, in different areas, it means different things. And that's another thing to touch on as well is, what does this particular item mean to you? What is the history behind it? How long have you been eating this? How long has your grandmother been making it? A big part of the show that's gonna make it a lot different than a typical food show is we are gonna be sharing these recipes with you at home so that you can follow along, go online to our website, get these recipes, and you can cook them too. So you, can, you, don't, you don't just watch the food here. You're actually able to go back, take this knowledge with you, and share it with your family. This show is meant to connect families and connect communities communities and connect cultures through food. I've been doing Elder Eats on SA Live for going on almost four years and every year you, you find something new, you find a new place, you find an interesting story or you go to an old favorite, a classic place that the story is so timeless that every time you share it out or you talk about it, people are still excited to hear it. That's the kind of stuff that really just keeps me motivated to keep going forward and finding these stories and, and pursuing uh, my passion for food. The Texas Eats story starts here in San Antonio. It expands out. We go to New Braunfels. We're gonna go to Castroville. Uh, we hope you join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock right here on KSAT 12, KSAT.com, or the KSAT TV streaming app to watch the show. It's gonna be one heck of a ride. And I know that it's just gonna keep getting crazier and more fun every weekend that we keep doing it. So join us every Saturday, 10 o'clock, right here on KSAT 12. And you better come hungry. We're here at 
10 o'clock mm -hmm. on Saturdays. By the way, we'll still have an Elder Eats yep. segment on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. He's still going to be doing that, too. Mm -hmm. We just want leftovers day. And <laughs> if he you still have, needs to bring us food. Yeah, if you have uh, some great ideas, <laughs> yeah. he wants to hear from you. Yeah. So make sure you you know go to salab.com, uh, mm -hmm. Texas Eats, yeah. and mm -hmm. you can let him know about some fantastic restaurants. Uh, Next. Case at, at Texas Te Eats, Eats on, on social the media. socials. Right. <laughs> Next week, he's going up to New Braunfels, and it's all about German the German food. food because, mm -hmm. you know, the German influence, the Mexican yep. influence here, and it means great food. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. Yep. Congratulations yes. on the new show, by the way. Yes. Yes. All right. Monday on SA Live. New year, new you. How about a fresh take on your wardrobe? What you should toss, what you should keep, and one small step that could make cleaning out your closet easier than ever before. Plus, we're about a month away from the biggest head-to-head -head matchup of the year. Who needs the big game when you have the Puppy Bowl? A little pup from the Lone Star State is playing a big role, and we meet the people who rescued him from the streets. That and more, Monday at 1, right here on SA Live. You know, a third of your life is spent in bed, approximately. So you want to make it perfect. Except you. You like to Well, that's sleep. true. <laughs> and then the question is, socks or no socks? No socks for me. And Maria says, socks stay on for about 20 minutes in bed, and then I get hot. So I take them off, and then I can't find the socks in the morning. Ain't that the truth? The dryer ate them. <laughs> yes. Yep. And Penny says, no socks. My feet need to breathe. Yes. Right? OK. Uh, CrossFit says only when it's cold. Okay, that yeah. works. Okay. Then, Dunphy says socks all the time. All the time. Huh. All the time. He's solid. All right, Yolanda says no socks, but I do have a soft blanket wrap that I sleep with. What are the sad alpaca boys? Ooh, yeah, yes. I wear socks when it's freezing cold, which yeah. means you probably don't yeah. wear socks much around here. Yeah. It's usually not that freezing mm -hmm. cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then yeah. you get your feet on. But you get to let them, you know. So people can be weird about how they they sleep. Oh, right? people can be really particular. Yeah. People bring like pillowcases to ho like their pillows to hotels, like their own cold pillows. pillow. When you go to bed, it's got to be warm in the morning. Then they need. Oh, no, I need it cool the whole time. No. All right. <laughs> Have a fantastic first weekend of 2020. Don't forget 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Texas, Texas East. East. We will see you Monday at one. Have a good one. Jammies.